hello viewers welcome to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can add gears to your free card documents quickly without much work to follow along with the video it's better to download the gears workbench for your free card program but if you don't have it that's not a problem because the partisan workbench can also do the same thing this is another 3d modeling video using the developer version of FreeCAD. i hope you like this video let's go ahead and see how we can design these all 3d models using the part-time and the gears workbench okay let's begin with a blank document press empty file option and let's see how to design this first model here let's first create this shape here this one here let's go to our document and the first thing to do here is to add a part-time body object to the tree view click on this icon and here we have the body object and now go to part-time click in part-time and navigate to this option click on this option sprocket and as you can see now i have this task panel and this geometry on the 3d view okay as you can see we can change the reference of this sprocket choose the option that we need here i will use this one here this option and i will also change the number of div to 41 okay as you see i have this and these values here i will not change it okay and here I have the geometry inside the body object okay the next thing to do is to extrude this geometry to create this shape here this 3d model to do that we can use the path tool of part time okay but first you need to select the sprocket here and click on pad icon let's change the length to 5 millimeters and then hit ok to finish the pad operation and this is the first shape for this 3d model okay next let's see how to create this shape here and this one here and this hole okay first of all let's create a cylinder here on this face let's use additive primitive tools of part-time to add this shape here let's go to active tools of part-time expand the primitive tools click on this icon as you see we have these all options for primitive geometries let's select active cylinder and select this face here as the plane for this cylinder as you see here in attachment this test panel we have nothing here so if i select this face here as you see now i have this reference so it's this face here this cylinder is attached to this face here okay next let's go to the primitive parameters let's change the radius here to 64 millimeters click off and the height let's change to 40 millimeters and okay as you see here we have this to select this pad feature that we use it to create this shape here and then click on the linear pattern icon okay and here we have this the first thing that we have to fix here is the is the duration of this operation to fix that we have to go to the task panel and get to duration and let's select the z-axis select base z-axis this shape here is not attached to this face okay to fix that we can change the length here to the height of this cylinder let's do that change this value to 40 millimeters and then click off and you'll see this so we have this let's press ok to finish the linear pattern feature select this face and click on create sketch icon let's zoom in here and select the cycle tool in sketch geometry of sketch workbench start the cycle in the region nexus and let's say 122 millimeters for the diameter of this cycle and the sketch is full constrained if you hit skip on the keyboard you will see that the sketch is full constrained close the sketch and next select the pocket tool change here to forgot and here we have this press ok select this face and click on shuffle tool set two millimeters in the size and then press ok and this is the final model as you can see in this document 
Next, let's see how to design this model using the part design and the gears workbench. Okay, let's go to our document. Let's disable this body object, double click. And also let's hide this body object. Press this icon. Next, let's change the workbench to gears workbench, this workbench. So let's click on this icon. And here we have a model in the 3D view and also an object in the 3D view. Select the model in the 3D view or in the 3D view and navigate to the properties. For example, here we can change the occurrence, the known points, okay, the base, the height of this, the height of this object we can change. As you can see here, we can change the attachment, we can change the placement, we can change the occurrence of this object, but these values here we can change as you can see. If I click here, as you can see, nothing happens. But if I click in here and for example change the height to 12 millimeters and press enter, I will close the start page. As you can see, the height of the object changed. This value here we can change it. Let's change to something like uh, let's say four millimeters here enter as you can see the size changed we can also change the number of teeth i will say 24 here and enter as you can see i have this if we scroll down we can see that we can change the fillets here this parameter and the holes we can change okay i will i will add fillets to this object first i will change to top view I will change it to 0 0.1 and enter as you can see now I have a small fillet here in the edge of this object okay I will also add a fillet to the root fillet I will say 0 0.1 and I have this I will also check this option and as you can see something changed here so okay this is all Let's now see how to create this shape here with this hole. Okay, I will change to part-time workbench and next I will create a body based on this object here. To do that, first I will select the evolve gear here on the tree view and then click in create body icon. And as you can see, now I have a copy of this object inside the body object. Okay, if I hide this object, as you can see, nothing here in the 3D view. Okay, the first thing that we will do in the part-time workbench is to add a cylinder, this cylinder, this shape. And to do that, let's use the same technique that we used in the first body object. Let's click in Active Cylinder tool. And select this face here as the attachment of the cylinder. Change the radius to 30 millimeters and change the height to 35 millimeters. Click off and OK. The size of these two fillets here is 4 millimeters. So to do that, we can select this surface here or we can select this edge, the circular edge, and control this H and click on filler tool and next change to 4 millimeters the size of the radius and OK. Next let's use a subtractive cylinder to create this hole. OK but before you do that let's add transparency to this model. For example I will select this face here and press V plus T on the keyboard and as you can see I have this. OK, next I will navigate to Subtractive Tools of Parts and Workbench. I will expand the Primitive Tools and select Subtractive Cylinder. OK, for this Subtractive Cylinder, I will select the XY plane. I will zoom in here and try to select the XY plane. OK, as you see, I have the XY plane as the plane of this cylinder. Now I'll change to the front view, zoom in here, I will go to the parameters and I will change the radius here to 24 millimeters and the height to 41 millimeters. Click off and as you can see I have this. Now I'll press OK and the material will be removed automatically. Okay. 
I will select this face and press V plus T to remove the transparency on the model. Okay, next I will select this face and click on hold tool and increase the diameter to 30 millimeters. Click off. And here I have this. Next I will press OK and I will select this. I will select this edge here and add a small fillet here with a size of one millimeters and OK. And next I will select the stop face here, create a sketch on it. I will zoom in here in the sketch workbench. I will go to sketch geometries and select cycle tool. I will create a cycle with a diameter of 5 mm in the vertical axis. Okay, one degree of freedom as you see. I will select the dimension tool to set the distance between the center point of the cycle to the horizontal axis and I will say 20 mm for this. Skip two times to leave the sketch and select the pocket tool icon to create this hole. Okay, I will change here to something like 20 millimeters. Click off and here I have this. Next, I press OK to finish the pocket feature. And I will go to the model, select the pocket feature and use the linear pattern tool and use the polar pattern tool to repeat the hole around this circular edge. Okay, I will change the axis to Z axis first and change to the and change to top view and in occurrence I will say 8 occurrence of this hole and OK and this is the final shape of this 3D model OK next let's see how to create this model using the part-time features OK so in our document let's first disable the body 001 double click OK and let's hide it Press this icon and let's add another body object. Click on create body icon. Click on part time and go to evolute gear option. And here we have the geometry. In the task panel, I will only change the model here to three. Okay, and okay, and press okay. Next, I will extrude the geometry by selecting the evolute gear 001 and click on pad icon. I will say 8 millimeters for the length of this object and OK. With this face selected, I will click and create sketch icon. In the sketcher workbench, I will select the cycle tool from the sketcher geometries. I will start the cycle in the region axis and I will set a diameter of 6 millimeters. And so, skip two times to leave the sketch. Next, I will select the pocket tool. To create the hole for go and it's all. I will press OK now to finish the pocket operation. And the next thing to do is to create these two shapes here, this shape and this one here. To do that, I'm going to create a sketch attached to this face here. In that sketch, I will create two rectangles. So with this face selected, I will click and create sketch icon. In the sketch workbench, I will first change the geometry to construction geometries and use the great external projection geometry to extract this circular edge to import this geometry to the sketch. Okay, and change back to normal geometries and I'll select rectangle tool. Next, I will click on this edge of this extracted cycle and I will click off here and create another rectangle in this way. Okay, now select the equal constraint and make this line and this line equal and now this line and this line equal. Okay, next I will select the constraints metric, this one here, this point, this endpoint and the vertical axis. As you can see, three degrees of freedom now. Next, I will use the constraint constant and make this point constant to this edge. Okay, I will select the dimension tool. Now, I will select these two vertical lines and I will set a distance of five millimeters. And for this line here, for these two 
rectangles I will set 4 millimeters. Now I close the sketch and next I select the pad tool. To extrude the sketch I will change it up to up to face this option, rotate the view and select the bottom face of the 3D model. Press home on the keyboard. As you can see, I have this extrusion on the 3D model. Now I press OK. And what is missing now to finish this model is to create this polar array. Okay, so in this document, I will go to the pad 002, the last operation, and click in polar pattern icon. And the first thing to fix here is the axis of this operation. Let's change to Z axis, the Z axis here. And next, the number of occurrence should be six to, to get this result here. Okay, is processing. As you can see, we have this, okay. And this is the last model. We finished the design of all models. I will disable this body 002, double click, and I will make the body 001 visible and this body here visible. As you can see, we have three models here. Okay, I will use the transform tool to move these models. So I will select the first body, right click and go to transform tool. I will track this model to, okay, here and OK and now I will select the body 002 transform tool and now I will drag this model to here and OK OK and now I will decrease the size of the lines of these three models to do that I will select these two body objects control this body and go to view OK, the line width I will change to 1 and the point size to 1 and now I click off and these are the models. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to hit like and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.